Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to kill frost dragons, and I'm going to be using two methods in this. One with a sour god sword, which I didn't grab yet, and one with a whip and DFS. Why? Because not everyone can use either of these methods, so I'm going to use both in here to show you guys what you're going to do, how you're going to kill them. Anyway, um, I'm going to use a Remington tablet teleport, and that literally takes like two seconds. I already started a timer, by the way. And I'm going to run south, east, straight to the, um, whatchamacallit, the cave with the blue right ores, if you know where that is. If not, you just kind of follow my path past the prayer area and fill up your prey if you want. It's always nice to have this in the on your way. You can pray here. Get your prayer points up for free. Don't have to worry about prayer pots or nothing just for that 900 prayer or so, how much ever you have. Anyway, we're going to go here. Oh, and if you didn't know, um, you need 85 dungeoning for frost dragons. If you don't have that, then you can't get to them. Anyway, we're going to go this way. And you can see here it already took about 45 seconds of running time. Um, and that's, that's kind of shitty in my opinion. Um, running time is a big portion of, of your money per hour if the run is long. And I think it's about a 1 minute and 20 to 30 second run. I'm already at 1 minute and 5 seconds. So, yeah. I'm gonna enter the mysterious dungeon. And you can see here I am at 1 minute and 10 seconds of running time. And this is what we're gonna do. I am gonna put on an over. I am going to put on Turmoil. I'm also going to put on Soul Split. And I'm going to kill a Frost Dragon. And basically, you want to get your Reflectability ready because they have a reflecting move. When the blue orb comes up, they will try to deflect your shit. And that sucks. Um, if not, you can try to kill them as quickly as possible, which is why I have everything on possible to kill them quickly. Yes. And you can see here, I'm trying to just get rid of him. If you don't have soul split, protect from um, their attacks, whatever you want to protect from. Um, yeah. You might want to put it on your quick thing. Green arrows. Green arrows. Anyway, you might want to put it on your quick prey so you don't waste like me, but I don't really care. Um, yeah. So see, let's see if I can get a blue orb on this one. I'm not going to try and get a blue orb, but I'm going to kill him. There you go. See, you put Reflect on, you get that blue orb. I, I like to put re Resonance on too, for some reason. Get the extra HP bonus for free. And you just kind of cut through them. And you, you pretty much can. Because the Reflectability it pretty much negates the effect of his, um, whatchamacallit, his, his Recoil Orb. Yeah. But usually I just use this move and cut through him as quickly as possible. So I don't got to deal with his bullshit. And he's dead. Yeah. And then now I'm going to use a super anti. Switch to my Sarah God Sword. Switch to my um, two hand tab. And I'm just going to kick ass. They're really easy to kill. You don't really have to worry about much. Just keep your prey up. If you have ovals, keep them on. Okay, you see that? When, when you're two handing, you can't do any type of reflect shit. So don't hit him. Just fucking chill out. Chill out. Relax. There you go. It's off. Crack him again. That's all you can really do because the recoil thing will kick your ass unless you unless you have reflect. So a good point to have for this a good point is to use a shield so you can deflect their shit. But if not, you can just chop through them quickly like that, and they'll be dead in fucking a couple seconds. Especially if you have turmoil and soul split on, then you really shouldn't have to worry about health either. That's why I didn't bring too much food. Like how you saw I did. And we just kind of chop through them. And it's fucking quick. It's easy. No worries. And I, I'm i going to call it one minute of running time. Just so you know. Because um, it's easier to calculate. Let's see if I can kill this guy real quick here. I love this fucking ability. It's my favorite ability ever. Like fuck. You see how much damage that shit did? Ridiculous. Anyway. So it's been four minutes. That means we've had three minutes of fighting time already. But I also have to include the running back to the bank part, which I'm going to I'm gonna add that extra. I'm going to say running to the bank and shit is going to be the, the other half of that one minute and like 15 seconds that I took to run here. Just keep your prey up. 
finish this guy off so he can't recoil on me. Sweet. I'm always afraid when I don't have this move, I'm gonna get killed. Just fucking rocked. Shit, 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 shit. Alright, he's dead. Yeah, you can see I also brought monkfish. And I brought monkfish because they're super cheap. Yeah, he's gone. It's been 5 minutes and 10 seconds already. And I, pre I prefer a two-handed weapon. Sarah Godso's are nice because they heal you. If not, you can use a Chaotic Maul because they're the fucking strongest shit in the fucking world. Right now. Um, and my super antis make me take no damage from fire shit. That's fucking great, too. See if I can do, like, some fucking wicked-ass combo shit. Fuck, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Ow. It's 1635 on me. Eat a piece of food, get that grimy shit, and that shit. Yeah, I can get another instant kill right about now. Let me just take out this other guy right here real quick with this my fucking favorite move in the world. Do not reflect me, do not reflect me. Bitch, that's right. Grab your frost dragon bones. Grab your frost dragon bones. It's been 6 minutes and 7 seconds so far. Um, I'm going to run to a bank now. Fuck you, fuck off man. Attacking me. Anyway, I'm gonna run off to the bank now. Turn off my prayer, it's dead anyway. And I'm gonna bank my shit. And... I'm already at the bank, and it's been 6 minutes and 30 seconds, and I'm, and I'm gonna call it... I'm gonna call that the extra, that 30 seconds, the finishing point to that 1 minute and 10, 20 seconds that took me to get here. So if I include that time, that 2 minutes, that means there's 2 minutes of running to the bank and banking, and going to the area, and that's, what is that, like, four minutes of combat time? Five minutes of combat time? Yeah. So, if I took two minutes, I mean, look how long, look how long it took me, um, per run. I could probably get a full inventory every seven minutes, and two minutes of that time is running time. But I really, no, I could have stayed a little bit longer. I probably could have not got this. So let's say it took me, let's say it took me like, yeah, let's call it, let's call it seven minutes a run. Full inventory load. If you have any type of beast of burden, you can stay longer. Way longer, like twice, twice as long. So let's, actually, let's call it at, let's call it a, a, let's say you only need to run back to the bank and do your two minute run. Like, I don't even know, three times. No, that's too little. 7, 40, 21, 28, 35, 42. Okay, so let's say you spend 10 minutes of that of your time only running to the magnet back and forth. That's five runs. You can easily spread that out between an hour if you last 10 minutes at each time. Um, or a little bit longer. So five times of banking, 10 minutes of your time banking and running there, that means you have 50 minutes of killing things. And in this video, in this video, I have 5 minutes of combat time, and in that 5 minutes, I made... In that 5 minutes of combat time, I made 250k. I'm just gonna round it up to 250k to make it easier for this method. So if it takes you, if I get 250k in 5 minutes, I mean, I get... 2.5 mil in in 50 minutes and 10 minutes of running time for banking shit, you're making, you're fucking making 2.5 mil an hour. And that's easy freaking money. All you need is 85 Dungeoneering. So, um, go make some money, guys. Shit.